Hello there, beautiful people. Welcome back again to On How Channel. For people that don't know, my name is Enes. I'm working for you. So if you have any questions and video requests, make sure to drop them below in a comment. I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back. And please bear witness for that because I made over 250 videos so far on Shopify customization. They were mostly requested by you guys. I know some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that. I still make the video for them. So don't hesitate, man. If you have any video requests or any questions, just drop me a comment below. I will be happy to provide you information you need or even make a video for you. And yeah, you don't have to subscribe, or maybe now you should consider doing so, because if you don't, you lose. Now is a very different chapter on this channel. I usually share small customizations, but now we'll be sharing complete sections and widgets highly customizable to make your Shopify store very unique professional without having to rely on those expensive teams or hire on those expensive developers, or even worse, paying for those monthly subscription applications that will drain your money and it's not a very good idea for long-term projects. But I give you a better deal, scroll down to the channel, check out the videos and sections I'm sharing, and I let you decide and I respect your decision. Or actually, you might see that in this video, because in this video, I will show you how to add customers testimonial section slider on your Shopify store by using your own custom code. Because just like two days ago, I made a, already made a video, not two days ago, like a long time ago, I made a video on how to add testimonials on Shopify store, but they were using an app. And suddenly I got a lot of comments on that. That app is not free anymore. No worries. I got you guys in this video. I will show you how to add customers testimonials section uh, slider section on your Shopify store by using your own custom code. You don't have to pay monthly for that and not just any testimonial slicer. It's very, very professional and actually uh, floating the cards on it floating. You can disable that option if you want and many, many more customizations so you can make it very unique and professional. And I think if you are a subscriber of the channel, you already know I don't make things just so they do the job. I do things so they stand out. And you will see that for yourself. Without any more talking, let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is Shopify down team. I always start with completely new team, nothing on it. And each video adds smart customizations, but the video 72 60, the team will be completely different. But now I think I reached that level halfway. For example, check out this only one reviews carousel that show reviews from multiple sources and it's filterable. Or this actually scrolling logos with fade effect on the corners or recent sales on your Shopify store, recent sales notification on your Shopify store by using your own custom code. Or you want to see something that will make you more money? Check this out. This is the mouse cursor, right? I will act just like when you leave or close the page and this thing will show up, which is an abandoned cart pop-up reminder that will remind the user how many products he added to the cart and he didn't check out. And this is by using the exit intent so it detects when the user tried to leave and it does show up. And yes, by using your own custom code and the video is already posted. So you can make your Shopify store like a Swiss knife without using any applications. But not just these, it's many, many more as you can see and I cannot mention in one video. This Shopify store is full of stuff. So I will do demonstration on the new one, Horizon Team. And by the way, all my sections and codes work on every Shopify store. I mean, Shopify Team, sorry, because they are standalone code and they don't follow like any architect, something like that. So it will work on every Shopify team, no matter if it's free or paid ones. As I said, this one is full of stuff. So let me actually close it and let me access Horizon. And I don't have anything on Horizon, so it's empty. So we will add it in here. We will add it actually below. Yeah, we will add it in here. By the way, this shadow effect on cards on Horizon team, I did that in a video. Not just these, even like animated logo, as you can see, it's many, many more stuff. So. As I said, we will add customer testimonial section slider in here uh, below the cards. So we'll keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So get back to Shopify dashboard. If you are already in Shopify dashboard, click on online store, then click on teams, then click on the three dots on the left of customize and click on edit code for the team you are using, which should be, should be here. But in my case, as I said, I'm doing it on Horizon, so I'm going to do it in here. So click on edit code, then it will open up the code editor for your Shopify team. So on the right panel right here, as you can see many files and folders, in the folders the first one should be sections. Simply click on sections folders to be expanded, then click on the first one which is add a new section. Then after you click on it, it will show you this prompt right here so you can name the section. And in here, name it testimonials, as you can see, dash slider. Or you can name it anything you want, doesn't matter actually. So simply click on done. Then it will create a new section and some code in it by default. Make sure to remove this code. Remove all the code in here. Do not keep anything because in here we need to paste in 
our code for the testimonial slider. And where are you gonna get that code? You need to hire a developer, pay him, wait 24 hours, then test the code, I'm just joking, scroll down the description box and you will see a link, my website, simply click on it and actually this section right here, which is testimonial slider, will have two versions. The first one, which is the premium version and the free version. Because I know some people don't like to, to pay for stuff, no worries, I got you. So the only difference between them is the premium version has more customizations options, so you can make it very, very professional. And you will see that. Let me assume actually that you want the premium version. So simply copy the that liquid file. Also, the file will come with a comprehensive guide on how to use it and customize it, and also my personal contact in case you need me. So simply open that that liquid file with any text editor, copy the whole code inside it, then simply paste it in here. Then after that, click on save button, I'll wait for a couple of seconds, it save it. Now we will get back and add the section. So after that, click on customize button for the team that we did add section on, which is this one. And simply navigate to the page where you want to add it. In my case, as I said, I want to add it on the home page. So I'm going to scroll down a little bit and I'm going to add it in here below the cart. Then simply uh, click on add section to template. And simply let me actually testimonials, let me search for it. It didn't show up. Uh, we have to reload the page sometimes. It takes time to show up. Let's just reload the page and see. It's actually a good example, so you would know that it's not actually not working. It just sometimes if you do things too quick, uh, it does not show up. So testimonials and here is on how testimonials. And you can see the example how it looks like. It's very, very professional. You will see that. So simply click on it and it will show up in here and it will show up a little bit large. No worries. You can customize everything in here. So the first thing I'm going to do is make it a little bit smaller. So is in here you will see section size multiplier. So this one will resize the whole uh, slider evenly. So let me uh, actually drag it down a little bit. Let me do 0.8 or 0.9. Yeah, 0.9 is, is fine, as you can see. And if you notice, they are hovering, as you can see. The cards are hovering, as you can see. And let me actually uh, show you the how to add testimonials because on the, la on the left panel, you will see the section on how testimonials and below these ones are testimonials. If I click on the first one, you will see on the right panel this time, the author image, because you can set an image for the person who gives testimonial. You can click on it. Then if you scroll down a little bit, let me pick my picture actually. So if I select this picture, it will show up in here as you can see, and it looks very good. So below the name as well for the testimonial. I mean the author who gave the testimonial. And also the, the below is the location. If you don't want to show the, the location, simply delete it and it will sh not show up as you can see. But in my case, I'm going to keep it. And also below is the rating, stars rating. So if I did like four, four stars, it would show four stars as you can see the stars on the widget. But in my case, I'm going to keep it five stars because all my sections are five stars. On below again is the testimonial heading. Great experience with the service. I'm going to keep it as that for demonstration. And below is the testimonial text. So each testimonial has an author picture, author name, author location, and the star rating, and also the heading for the testimonial and the testimonial text itself. And you can add up to 25 testimonials by simply hovering over the last one, and it will show you a plus button. It says add testimonial. If I add it, it will add other ones, and it will be actually infinite loop. So even if you have like five or six, it will loop them around. So no worries. Now, as you can see, it will keep looping them around. So it will look an infinite loop. Now let's just get back to the section. Click on the section in here to show you the options it has. The first one is the section title. It says our testimonials, which is this one in pink. Yes, you can change the, uh, the text color as well. Customize this if you want to change it. In my case, I'm going to keep it as that. I'm going to add an S actually. So it will be our testimonials. And this one below is the section subtitle, which says what client says. You might think it looks a little bit large. You can resize it, no worries. And below is the section description, which is this one below again. You can resize it, yeah. So the option below are the title size multiplier. So you can resize this. Let me drag it down a little bit maybe. Yeah, now it's good. And this one is the size uh, for the subtitle below it. I'm going to make it smaller as well. Yeah, it's perfect now. And below is the description size. Drag it down to, yeah, it's good. And this one is change slide every. So by milliseconds, 
3500 is 3.5 seconds. So in here you will set how many seconds uh, until the next slide moves on to the next one. I'm going to keep it as default or actually let me do uh, less. Let me do 2000 which is 2 seconds. And this one is the card depth. If I increase this, as you can see, it shows like a shadow effect. If I increase this card depth, it will show more shadow. As you can see, it looks way better now, but this is a personal preference. And this one is the accent color. So if I change this one to like uh, green or something like that, it will change things to green, but I don't like it that way. I'm gonna do like this maybe yeah purple maybe it doesn't matter it is just for demonstration and this one is text color which will change text for i add the comment here so you can see will change text for testimonial text author names and heading i'm gonna keep it as black and the section background color it's now white actually i'm gonna set it as white same, same as my shopify store yeah it looks good now if i click on save and now we'll show you how it looks like on mobile so we will get back in here and reload the page and see that and here is as you can see so each two seconds the carousel will move to the next uh, card as you can see and you can use actually the arrows to navigate through them or if i switch to the mobile in here let me switch to the mobile from the yeah you uh, uh, 14 pro max and reload the page and this is how it looks like on the mobile and you can use the actually the the mouse cursor so you can swipe through them as you can see and as i said it's infinite loop so it would keep looping the even if you keep swiping like to right it will keep looping the same cards as you can see the same testimonials and for the desktop this is how it looks like as you can see and that's how you add your own customer testimonials without using any applications and by using your own custom code if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.